What's going on everybody? This is Boss from the Lit Lords. We're back with another one behind the track. Bass head. Let's go. How about you guys? Holy shit. Yep, that, oh my god, that song kind of gets me going. It kind of gets me going. So today, obviously, you know, to keep things slim, we're going to focus on the drop. So basically, let's solo all the different parts first so you can hear it. Let's start with the drums. Here we go. Drums here. Cast this. So if we open that up here, that's basically on this drum kit too. We got basic stuff going on here. A little hit here, which is basically this fucking Riot 10 effects explode thing. So that sounds like that, and it's kind of EQ'd here. So this is without the EQ. So you guys can really hear this now a lot better than we could in the before videos. So because you know everything is running directly through, so you should be able to hear all the things and changes that I'm making to a, a more precise level of detail so with this eq on you know 104 hertz sounds like that so it doesn't get in the way of the way that uh, i want the kick to hit which is you know the kick is going to hit like this and it's just a decap kick it's like mm, that's kind of meaty so it's just really basic and you got your hit your, your hi-hat which is our pace this is a synth i call it a pace synth but this is a pace drum here just a pace percussion rather extremely basic that's the that's the bass head drums right there boom clack boom tap just basic boom tap boom tap Let's go ahead and take a look at our 808 section here, which is the bass section here. Bass section, we've got these here, uh, which is, ooh, okay, so we've got a Cymatics 808, Cymatics 808, which is probably just a copy of that one, and Hip Hop Sub. So it's just a basic, simple 808 in the key of, what key is it in? E. So it's in the key of E. Just really simple, going with the drums here like this. And we've got uh, obviously a side chain here, and that side chain is really, a really, really deep threshold here, 34 decibels. So, but it's really sharp. So like, it's the attack is really quick, and it releases really fast as well. So, so it hits and it's out of there. So you know, it gives it kind of a more a, a punchy, punchy detail here. Now let's take a look at our uh, synth section here. It's very simple, but here it is soloed like so. On the second half of that. Really simple, just noises banging off of each other. Sounds completely stupid, but it all came together to create this fucking weird ass 12 gauge thing. You've got the vocal here, which is I did the vocal and it's how much cat I can't even do it I'm not even gonna do it. Just you got to be in a mood to create something stupid like this But this is what it sounds like so low Holy shit. Wow, there's probably more take a look at this There's probably more things that I used and like that I recorded but didn't use like this is like over here Is just all the bullshit that I recorded and never got used. I don't know what this is gonna say So who knows? I'm a cutthroat killer Wow. All right. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um, bear with my CPU. Come on, baby. Let's go. Chance section. What is this? Broken glass. Broken glass. Wow. There's a lot of broken glass in this. I guess this is why it sounds so stupid. All right. Well, let's open up the synth section here. We've got two two screeches, same ones we pretty much always use. We've got our sharp and our flat. So here's our flat. <laughs> This is the one that you're really that you're really hearing over everything, and then you've got your sharp screech, and then all together you get these, and it's just so basic. Now let's take a look. This is a cymatics line. I love chopping their stuff up and just taking little bits and pieces of things because they've got good sounds, and they sound you know it's really good quality right off the bat. So you really don't have to do much to them. Just to, okay. I did a couple of things here. 
But, I mean, this is what this sounds like with everything on the chain that I've got. Just some kind of, like, weird, grungy-sounding bass thing in the jigger, and it's EQ'd at 114 hertz. And everything on this channel, mind you, on D... Oh, this is D2. So D2 has a 20, 20 hertz cut. On D1, everything is kind of cut, so no low end gets in. So on D2, some low end can get in. So I made sure none got in, and I had this 114 14 hertz cut. Without that, it sounds like this. You see that? That bass is in there, but without it, it's a, a lot cleaner. Like this. Whenever my computer is done loading. Here we go, like this. So it sounds a lot better. Um, then on top of that, we do an overdrive to kind of spice it up, make it a little fatter on the sides. Manipulator. What I do on the manipulator? Just a little bit of stereo width, 44%, a little bit of stereo field, basic stuff there. And then do on a standard room just to give it some space. Just very subtle things that, you, that you're going to hear on the sides. And then some disharmonics to really kind of re-distinguish the sound and what we're, what it's going to sound like here. So without the disharmonics, it sounds like the sound is like this right now. Without this, it just kind of went in like this. Like that's whoa, whoa, whoa. That got really thin. With this, now look at that. It kind of just mellowed it out and said, hey, I'm here. Not like, hey, I'm here. You know, all together, that kind of comes in and comes together like this. Just really simple. That I mean, that that's bass head. That's, that right there is bass head. I kind of spiced it up, wah, 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 wah. Basically, I've, the screech was going wah, wah, wah. Now it's going wapa, wapa, wapa. But the key to this is the, is, what do we call it? What do we call it? The groove. The groove of this and the syncopation of this, it's, it's very just, it's, it's wobbly. It doesn't know what it's trying to do. So if you listen to the screech, you can kind of hear that it's so just kind of, it's, it's lazy. It's a lazy pace. It's really, it's it's so weird, and, and and basically you see where you would normally start the screech, you know, at the 1.4 part. We're starting it damn near close to 1.4.2. We're starting it. Everything is just way off. Everything is nudged off of the ones, and it, when you play the screeches here with the beat, you can kind of hear just how kind of lazy it is. Like, just that is tight. Like, now let's throw in our 808. Now listen to that. Ooh, it's just like, it's nice just like that, just because that syncopation kind of gets you going. Like, a lot of dance music and electronic music is so on the one, on the one, on the one, you know? And it's just straight, just do, 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 do like, kind of break away from that, kind of make me move, you know? Um, to go with these screeches on the second half of the drop here, we're going to go back to D2 and we're going to start playing with this new thing, which is just this rhythm pattern that I chopped up and it sounds like this. This has the same stuff on it as the other one, minus the uh, small reverb. It's got the disharmonics, the manipulator for a little bit of stereo width and over overdrive to get it, you know, to sound, you know, a little fatter. And it's obviously got over 100 hertz cut here just to take that low end out. So without that, that disharmonics on there, obviously things are going to get real skinny. So check it out. It lost its life. So you just bring the life into it. It kind of robotic. It's like bass head, you know, it says bass head to me. And I just pitched it up. This is, you know, minus three. And then when we pitch it up, minus two so it's like even the 808 if we play this with just with the 808s the 808s follow this this transposition pattern so it's just everything just kind of follows each other plays off of each other and now since you know that bass is going at eighth notes wah wah right no it's going wah wah oh yeah it's going quarter notes so since that bass is going quarter notes the screeches are playing off of that at eighth notes like so Hold up. Here we go. And see, everything plays off each other because it's like a puzzle, you know. This is going to fit here and this is going to fit here. And you know what I'm saying? Just whoop, whoop. Everything kind of fits in and it just creates this whole kind of thing that kind of brings you in and, and makes you move. Once you makes you want to just do some wonky ass head banging movements and things that you don't normally do in public. And we've got this other thing here, which sounds like a 
I I even thought it was a snare. I haven't looked at this project in so long. I thought it was a snare. It's just this weird ass bass that sounds like this. It doesn't sound like a snare at all right now, but when like when you're playing it and listen to it, look, it sounds like a it sounds like a snare. Some good old bass. Like it's it just it it's on the three. It's on the three, so it hits when the snare hits. So when you play them together, they just sound like this. It sounds like one whole thing. Look. But, you know, the snare itself just sounds like this. It's just like a, like a, it's just a snare. And there's this other uh, serum patch here now. So what is this? All right, it's called Dope Bass. All right, where do I even begin? So first, let's listen to it. Let's listen to it. Here we go. That's not very dope, Isaiah. That's not very dope. But it was dope enough to put in this track, so... Wow. That's that's what it does. It just does that. Together with this weird wonky snare and this... We get... Okay, so it, it does make... It brings out a little bit more tonality in this, which you wouldn't have without. See? It's very flat, see? It does. It, it it has the sound and it sounds good, but it doesn't have that tonality or that character. See, when you add this in now, it's like wow, wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's like so. It's like it kind of it, it hits you in the ears a little better. So that's nice. Now when you add it in, it all just comes together with that screech, man. I'm telling you, that's crazy. Some good old bass. Some good old bass. Let, let, let's pitch this up. How did I actually say this? So that's minus four. Here's how I said it originally. Some good old bass. <laughs> Why don't you try this? I didn't even pitch my voice on this. Wow. I'm curious to see how did I say the 12 gauge part? I know that's pitched up. That's here we go. Okay. So on the 12 gauge part, there is disharmonics, obviously, to kind of widen that up and roboticize that and some manipulator for width. But without that, just real basic sounds like this. How about you catch this 12 gauge? Oh, God. It's so funny, though. That's plus eight on transposition, formants, and envelope, all that jazz. When you bring that down, bet to normal, it sounds like this. How about you catch this 12 gauge, bitch? <laughs> oh, now, if you bring that up eight. How about you catch this 12 gauge, bitch? <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is stupid. Pretty much that that is that that whole thing comes together to make uh come on, to make bass head basically and uh on, on the other drops it's like a uh it's it's a trap version of it, but it's the same drop. Listen. Some good old bass. This ain't It's just a more trappier version of that really kind of rhythm y dubstep ish thing that goes on in the first half. So. Why don't you try this? Some good old bass. Bass. I kind of like this drop, but it don't go as hard as that. Just you just throwing your goddamn hands. Just that's some shit I'll be wanting to do in the club. Throw your damn hands up, throw your elbows. Just that's what's going down tonight. Pretty much that's bass head. Um, I mean, what is there anything else I can explain to you here? I mean, it's 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 uh, it's the dumbest song I ever made. Holy shit. Catch this 12 gauge.